Here's how you avoid buying the wrong screen when performing a screen replacement. Whatever device you plan on fixing, locate the model number. Once you find that, you should be able to go on eBay, type in the model number and screen replacement, and you'll find the exact match for the device. That should be about it. Let's get started. What's going on guys, Benji D here from GetFix and today I'll be showing you how to perform a proper screen replacement for the iPad 4th generation. Here are the tools needed to do this. Suction cup, prying tool, a blade, Phillips screwdriver, a second prying tool, I'll explain what that's for later, a heat gun of some sort, and that should be it. If you're in need of some great looking tools to get the job done, click here. Step 1. Take the heat gun or blow dryer. If you're allergic to being patient, then I recommend setting the heat gun on high. Pick a portion of the screen you feel comfortable starting with and begin heating it. You need to do this until the digitizer becomes too hot to touch. Step 2. Take the blade, gently slip in between the housing of the iPad and screen. Continue by working the blade through the adhesive as you heat the screen, making it easier to pry it open. Take the second prying tool I mentioned earlier. Use it to prevent the digitizer from bonding back with the adhesive. Avoid cutting into the antenna when you reach the base of the iPad. Patience plays a key role at this point. Step 3. Set the digitizer to the side to avoid any unnecessary tugging on the flex cable. Now take the plus head screwdriver, locate the home button on your screen, and remove the two screws behind it. Slowly peel off the home button flex cable from the glass. Careful not to rip it or else you'll have to buy a new one in order for the button to work. Step 4. I know it's not a corner, but I don't know what else to call it, so in every corner of the iPad should be a total of 4 screws. You need to remove them in order to access the connections of the digitizer on the motherboard. Once these screws are removed, gently remove the LCD from the housing of the iPad. Try not to touch the LCD as I did because it's a fingerprint magnet and trust me, <laughs> it's a pain to get off. Step 5. Locate the flex cable connected to a digitizer. Find where it's connected on the motherboard and gently disconnect it. Take the replacement screen you bought. You can find these for about 15 or 30 bucks on sites like eBay or Amazon. Connect the replacement screen slash digitizer back into the motherboard and place the LCD back into place. Last but not least, step 6. Transfer the home button onto the new screen and screw the cable back into place. Hopefully the screen you bought came with adhesive strips to stick the screen back on. But if it didn't, try using the adhesive on the old broken screen. That worked fine for me. Once the adhesive has been applied, the only thing you need to do now is take the screen back and that should be it. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to click the like button and subscribe. Anyways guys, Benji D here from Get Big Stand. I'm out. Peace.